pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead. I am Scott Beer, Cold Beer Enthusiast. And welcome to another episode of Versus, where we pit two beers up against each other in a fight to the death. And uh, this is a special one. I have no idea what these beers are or who the brewery is. Not a oh, clue. No clue. So we uh, just got back from Vermont yesterday, and we had an exceptional trip. We knocked off all of our bucket list breweries, maybe not all the bucket list beers. Within 24 we, hours, essentially? Yeah, it was <laughs> disgusting. It was out of control. We were blessed. We had some fantastic people help hooking us up. And uh, what we're going to be reviewing today is uh, two beers from Hill Farmstead, which is, according to Beer Advocate, or Rate Beer? Yeah, the best beer in the world. Best brewery First, in the sorry, world. Sorry, bre- brewery in the world, 2015. We didn't get down there. It was a couple hours from Burlington. We also ran out of time to sort of get their, their opening hours. Apparently it's our... quite a mission too, and it had just snowed, so I think people said the roads though. were pretty bad, so... We're probably better to go up when it's a little warmer. Yeah. So we got a huge, huge uh, shout out to Jason from Beverage Warehouse for giving us these bad girls. Um... Very, 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 very generous man. He hooked us up with so many beers and so knowledgeable. We were trying Jason. to pay, like buy these, and he just you can't get them. So you know, he just gave us a bunch from his personal stash, and that's why I love uh, what a beer. legend, such a we're great guy. Pay him back with the beer come, although he can get better stuff from yeah. where we are than we can. So I don't know what to do. We'll, with We'll get guy. him some Quebec stuff that maybe he hasn't had before. Just to, to get him uh, some Boreal. Yeah, he loves Boreal. It's he great loves stuff. It. He's about it. So. Today, what are we doing, Scotty? We have uh, have these two bad Man, girls. Like, uh, yeah, how do you introduce this? So, Hill Farmstead, Dorothy, Anna. Um, um, they're farmhouse ales. They're kind of... What does that one say? Uh, this one says Vermont Honey Ale. And this is a Farmstead Table Pale Ale. Yeah, so... So, we don't know what this... This is bottled on the 3rd of September, 2015. That one. And the 30th of November, 2016. So, we were trying to Google to see... Like, maybe these are just being aged for a bit. I don't know. We've just been, like, if y'all have been watching our stuff, you know that we've been kind of figuring out the whole, like, uh, use by date and drinking these bad bad guys fresh. Uh, I don't know how much this applies to this. We did some Googling and couldn't figure it out. So we just thought, let's just crack them. I don't want to hang on to them. Just want to get them in us. And this is just more to rub it in. Also, shout out to Jason. He gave us a, a Field Farm said Clover, which is a blend. Um, of a bunch of their beers. The funny part is these two beers are named after uh, their grandfather's sister when he says our, I assume it means Sean Hill. Family. Yeah. Brewery family. Yeah. And this is Clover and it's named after a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat. Uh, and this is who a, doesn't... It's a cute cat. Who has since passed, I believe. I think uh, that's kind yeah. of the point of... Two, two, right. Ah. Unfortunately, right? They oh, don't seem to be okay. named after people who have passed I didn't on, know I guess. Okay, well, cool. just look, I'm pulling that out of my ass yeah. but looking at the dates that here and there. That's quite the honor to be named after a beer. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Well, apparently yeah. this one is pretty rare too. When I looked at the uh, the ratings of some of the the beers in their lineup, this was right up there. I think it was in top five. So of all Hill Farm said beers. Yeah. So I mean, that's just from one of those you know beer advocate rate beer. Uh, oh, they're a good guide though. Yeah. I mean, pretty pretty good indication. So uh, apparently this is pretty rare, pretty hard to get your hands on. So again, Jason, thanks, dude. Dude, you're a legend. Over and above. Yeah. Such Matt. Please, if you're ever in uh, Vermont, Burlington, around that area, it's in Winooski. It's like two two. Uh, um, I want to say Subway. Uh, freeway exits down in Winooski. So it's like one of the biggest liquor purchases in the whole North Beverage East. Warehouse. Uh, for East Street or something like that. Look them up. Um, bring all your credit cards. All of them. Bring a really, really empty trunk. and Large vehicle. Like The biggest one you insane. got. Like you're you're going to come it. out with way more stuff than you expect. It's then you, crazy. Yeah. It's out of control. And also buy another fridge. Do, it's key. Do that. Let's get this in. Okay. So we'll just crack them both. Ooh. Oh, shit. No, no, yeah. Careful, careful. Okay. It's one of those ones? Ah, okay. okay. All right, all right. Okay. You want to do the... They're yeah, a little okay. hectic, so why don't we just do that? Shout out to Brewheads. Wooden bottle opener. If you need that, we get the code and uh, our discount code in the description. Yeah. Uh, they're selling heavy. A bunch of people have hit us up and told me that they bought them. Get them in your face, mate. There's all different right. colors now, too, oh, right? They got the dark wood. Okay, pour, 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 pour. <laughs> uh, yes, there is different colors. So do inside... Oh, I can put that on the inside. Damn. Anna on the inside. Anna on the inside, Dorothy on the outside. Look at that. Anna on the inside. Oh, that's similar okay. colors, actually. Kind of like that similar. hazy straw color. Yeah, this is a pale, though. So I'm not surprised. Of course it's hazy because it's from Vermont. Wow. Look at that head, eh? I'm pouring Big real slow, head. too. Beauty. 
All right, so okay, let's start with the... Uh, what, yeah, what do we start with? I think we start with Anna because it's okay. a... Uh, the honey, a Vermont honey, honey ale. ale. Okay, so yeah, a little easier inside. on the... Yeah, easier on the palate. All right, so it's not that hazy. Ah, it's a little cloudy. Oh, it smells like a farmhouse. It smells great. These are... We were a little concerned in all seriousness because we didn't know, like, what the deal was with the aging process and stuff like that. Like, ah, oh, like, maybe these are, like, older bottles and it's not a good look. So, if anybody knows about the, the aging for, for these particular styles beers... Styles and, yeah. Yeah, and styles as well. We're still figuring that out. So, let us know if, you know, we can only base off what we were drinking here. We figured since we have two... We only have a few hill farms, so let's put them up against each other. And I know they're not the same styles, but it just made more sense to put them together. See how we feel about them. Cheers. Get in ya. Woo! It's unbelievable. That's phenomenal. Oh my god, that's like a real sour saison. Um, honey out the ass. The sourness is like puckering sour. I don't know if my palate's just been wrecked by IPAs lately. So we had a sour yesterday. I forgot what it was. I remember that we had blew a, my face off. The gin barrel sour. That's oh, what that it was, was with two Jason. Days, two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah. Who knows? It's, it's a blur. Uh, Hermit Thrush. Hermit gin, Thrush gin barrel. And that was like, oh, it was not the, in a bad way. I no, love it. Was it was the most. I think the most sour beer I've had. But this. Now I heard people say that this is like one of their base beers. They call right, it that they. Tiff, do you want to try it? Use yeah, for they blending use and for, aging as well. Yeah, they said they use this as a base beer, so to me it sounds like a guz. It's, uh, I think they would like start to make other uh, beers with it. Um, different blends, I guess. I think this one actually had Anna in at the Clover. The Clover, oh no, Anne. Anne, Art yes. And Laura, I yes. guess. So, I'm, so we're still learning about how this stuff works. I'm sure all the Hill Farmstead, like, long-term fans will know way more than us, but... Hmm. It's lovely. For so, normal. Yeah, so... I read that they use, uh, I believe, the well water. Yeah, I feel like the that. water has a big influence. Whoa. It obviously does because what beer is water essentially. Yeah. You need, you know, bad water, bad beer, good water, good beer, and it just gives it this quality. Like the the mouthfeel is unbelievable on all these beers, and I, I have to imagine it's attributed to the water they use, yeah. or at least in large part to the water they use. So I think uh, Giles was saying that because a lot of the areas are on that same flow of water, yeah. whether it's from a well or whether it's from some sort of fresh river, because a lot of Vermont, like, it's really small towns, like it's untouched. Burlington's small as, mm -hmm. even though it's mad expensive, yeah. it's a ski field, but um, very much untouched, so I think that really helps, uh, helps the thing. Very All right. pleasant. So drinkable. Dorothy time. So, have you have your water? All right, this smells farmhouse, even though it says pale ale. Farmstead table pale ale. So I didn't really oh, know wow. what that means. Holy smoke. I feel like they do a lot of Sours, sour hey? beers. Like this is like the Jolly Pumpkin. We went to Jolly Pumpkin before yeah. we knew what it was. And we got their pumpkin ale. We're like, why is it? Why is I think it? it's off or yeah. something? What's going on here? So I'm getting a little bit more oh, pale man. on it. Like a bit more. Uh... Cheers. Let's do it. Get it in you. Yeah, it's great. I don't know if it's lost flavor because this is the one from 2015, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, it's really good. I feel like this is, once again, these both taste like base beers. I feel like they're great as they are, but they're probably even better when they're like blended or added fruit added or something else. How do you feel? Thinking about it. Thinking. Think away. Hmm. Again, sours aren't my style. This is really lovely. Creamy. Creamy. Like the, the carb on it is unbelievable. They said this is a low alcohol version of Dorothy. Mm. It's a hoppy farmstead ale. So it's probably a hop. This is Dorothy. That's from, it is, but it says it's a low alcohol version. Ah, okay. Because it's a farmstead, so maybe there's different ones. Cool. So let me check into this one on tap. 4.5%. Mm. Interact. It says please consume fresh. Ha <laughs> ha, that's and what it's we didn't a do. A year and a half old. So do you know what? I don't care. Thank you again, Jason. It doesn't yeah. even matter, but I think that would have dissipated the hop resin yeah, and for the, sure. the, the notes there. It's still tasty though. Totally. And this one here does not say please consume fresh. And this is 6.5. So I got a feeling that this still, they can still kind of like taste the hops in it, eh? Like you still taste the... I think that's probably what they're going for, that kind of um, still kind of sour taste, but with like a hot background. Hop. You can see it, like maybe it was there, but hmm. I'm definitely not mad at it. Like it's tasty. No, it's solid. I feel like there's a there's an element of consistency now. Was this, these are our fourth, third and fourth Hill Farmstead beers, correct? We had yes. the Double Galaxy and the Sumner so far. Both were like double IPAs, IPAs. 
or pails or whatever mm-hmm. that were this very similar. Very different than those other different, that we had. Yeah. absolutely, but similar in the mouthfeel. Yeah, there's the there's something with, I don't know what they do, but there's something that they're doing. It has with, to be uh, something in the water. It's that well water, I can guarantee. But being the best brewery 2015, you have to imagine something to do with the process as well. Yeah, I think it's I think over time I'm really looking forward to breaking this clover out as well uh, shortly. But I think over time, um, they and once you've tried a bunch of the different ones, I think it's going to make a lot more sense. I think where they haven't, we haven't had Hill Farm said in enough context yet. Yes, you know what I'm saying. We're just beginning our relationship with them. Yeah, we were just talking about this before, and we were like, "Well, this Vermont trip was extremely dope for us because now we got to try from all the big guns." Like some super fresh stuff, mm-hmm. um, some stuff on tap, like all the you know, Lawson's Hill Farmstead, Fiddlehead, uh, Alchemists. Um, what's the other one that's super big? Lawson's. Lawson's, said I said that. There might be one more, I always forget. But the the big guns, we got a bit of everything. And we, oh, I guess when we got the treehouse, we had that super fresh, like you know, three or four days off the line. So we've had a bunch of stuff, and Hill Farms is super, super new to us. So we would have, by the time we finished this, we would have had five of their beers, and I think most people who are fans have probably had thirty of their sure. beers, and they really understand. There's like a commonality uh, between all of them, and you'll know when you have a stout. Oh, that's a that's a Farmstead stout. Yeah, Hill stout. I'd love stout. to try some other styles from them. Like I, I, I lost my mind over the Double Galaxy. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but <laughs> pretty much nonstop. I keep for the mentioning last it. How hours. unbelievable it was, and that's good. And uh, I love it. I kind of appreciate it that you weren't as crazy about it, just just Dude. because we we usually love the same beers, the yeah. same amount, and you liked it. You're like, oh, it's really good. But I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I was like waving my hands in the air. It was crazy. I think after having this, I feel like I liked the Sumner more. Yes. And I think I need to have them side by side, and I'll probably pick the Double Galaxy. I think it was, I was expecting, I'm still not sure about this whole Northeast IPA star when I'm, like, is exactly what to expect. Mm -hmm. Like, Treehouse was not what I expected. Yeah, me neither. And not in a bad way. No, I liked it as well. But then, like, Hill Farm said was what I expected Treehouse would taste like. Yes, that's a good point. Yeah, I kind of was on that same level, to be honest. That's what I was expecting, and it did not do that. No, not in a bad way at all. It Mm -hmm. was just... I, I don't know for whatever reason from the images on Instagram from things I'd read from things that people had told us that's what I uh, interpreted which was clearly not uh, accurate but back to the beers on the table yeah sorry about that so okay would you have a favorite of the two yep cool. I think I'm gonna go the Anna yep me too Dorothy's cool I feel like it's not fair because it says it's not it's a little old yeah and that's okay I'd rather try it than but not try we're, it we're reviewing these beers as is and as is the Anna does more for me. Anna Much does more for me. Way more. Yeah. Um, I love, oh my God, what a sour. That's that's like textbook sour. Yeah. That is stunning. But so um, and now soft I try and more. palatable. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. That sour, it's, it's just like a nice puckery. Yeah. Like it, it slowly, you get used to it the more you drink. Yeah. I really like that. Um, it's a nice little multi base. There's a like subtle sweetness. There's nothing over the top. I feel like if this was like a, a black currant or raspberry... Or some sort of like fruit mix. It would be peach, off its head. Like a peach or apricot yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, extremely impressed. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, this is one brewery that kind of flew under the radar for us for a while. Yeah. Um, I think it's, and we went down, I bet, and we were just saying before actually that there's so many other breweries in Vermont that we were like, people kept telling us, and we were just kind of like, yeah, 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 like this is what we were focused on. Particularly Hill Farm said this trip, because the first trip we both had Alchemist on our yes. minds and then whatever else. Well, that's all there was in the start. I didn't know anything. I mean, there was other ones, but they, that, that's how you get into this stuff. Right. But in my mind, I, I was very uneducated on Vermont as a whole. I just knew, yeah. oh, Hedy Topper, Hedy Topper, Hedy Topper. And in visiting there and meeting the people, I found out how many, like you scratch the surface and then everything starts, you know, coming oh, up. this place and this place. And then you just got to listen to the people who know and kind of if there's one name that keeps popping up you know that's probably a good one to check out so we have a few to go back to next time we're there oh the list is uh, yeah. just as long ever probably growing. longer ever, ever growing, growing and yeah. now it's just switched up a bit because I feel like it's fairly satiated from some of the others but yeah. uh, Hill Farmstead are most certainly on that list even mm-hmm. if we can't get to speak to them just yet mm-hmm. we're heading the hell down there so um, that was fantastic we're looking at the Anna here if Anna or Anna? Anna, Anna. yeah um, so if anyone has any thoughts on these or maybe any more experience with a fresh Dorothy to tell us maybe that, uh, you know, about the hop characteristics of that, uh, we'd love to hear it. Chuck it in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, 
give us a thumbs up, subscribe on YouTube, check out the full podcast as well. All the links are in the description. Uh, review and rate us on iTunes and subscribe. We have, we've had some such uh, such dope conversations lately. Um, if you're really into beer and you want to sort of pick the brains of uh, um, some people in the industry, the ones we did in Vermont were super sick, so you'll very much enjoy that. And of course, follow us on social media at BAOS Podcast everywhere, and you'll be a happy person because you see lots of beer, and that's what it is. Yep. And that's it, guys. All right, y'all. Enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>